Unreal Engine 5 is constantly evolving as a tool, which means there are lots of tools constantly being added to the engine that users may not know exist in the engine. One example of a tool I just discovered in the engine is the Spline Mesh Modeling tool. I've worked in architecture or visualization for years and one of my best kept secrets for fast modeling roads and a host of other things on my architecture or visualization projects is Spline Mesh Modeling. In this bite-sized tutorial, I will take you through the process of creating spline meshes in Unreal Engine 5. If this sounds like something you're interested in, watch till the end. Once you've identified the boundary you'd like to create a spline mesh for, go to the upper left corner menu in Unreal Engine, click on the drop down combo list menu and select modeling from the list. If modeling is not available in the list, you may need to go to edit menu tab and select plugins to open the plugins window. Once the window is open, search for modeling and enable it. You will need to restart your Unreal Engine 5 project. Once you have the modeling mode selected, select the draw spline option. In the draw spline mode, you can select the loop checkbox if you'd like to start drawing your splines from a closed loop. Now go to the top view and start creating the spline points that will define your mesh. When you've created enough points, hit the accept button in the middle bottom of your screen. This will create the spline. Now let's go back to the modeling tab. With the spline selected, hit the Mesh Splines button. This will create a static mesh inside the boundary of the selected spline. Since the spline was created in the top view, the mesh may appear transparent. This just means the normals are flipped. Go to the vertical menu on the left side of your window and select the Mesh option. Under the Mesh option, select Try Select. Once Try Select is activated, hit the Select All button and then hit the Flip Normals button. With the Static Mesh still selected, one last optional thing you can do is to correct the UVs of the mesh. To do this, go to the vertical menu and select the UVs button. Then select the Project UVs option. The default option would be Plain Projection, and that should be sufficient for your needs. With that, we've reached the end of this tutorial. If you'd like to dive deeper, I am building a full Unreal Engine 5 exterior and interior visualization course with the scene shown in this video. To get more information about this, Subscribe to the channel to get a notification of when the course will go live. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.